India's COVID-19 crisis pressures leaders to drop COVID-19 vaccine patent protections. The ongoing COVID-19 outbreak in India is creating immense pressure to waive patent protections on vaccines. Waiving these patents until the pandemic ends has one anticipated role, to close the widening gap in vaccine distribution. Most vaccine doses are only available in rich nations, leaving the rest to fend off COVID-19 with meager supply and preventive measures. According to South China Morning Post, the World Trade Organization debated the proposal on Friday. The proposal is to temporarily suspend protections on copyrights, patents, and industrial designs to increase the ability of every nation to produce anti-COVID armaments. WHO Director General Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus said, Around the world, people are dying because they're not vaccinated, they're not tested, and they're not treated. The WHO chief added that the solution to the problem is simple. Companies and countries that control resources should share to save more lives. It seems that the Friday discussion resulted in slightly favorable outcomes. Doug Fien Swirly, chair of trade-related aspects of intellectual property rights, said, Some careful optimism was determined. The U.S., on the other hand, is seriously considering the proposal, while executives at Pfizer and AstraZeneca may agree. At the current state, more than 100 nations, mainly developing countries, support the temporary waiver. Only a handful of wealthy regions like the EU and the UK argued the IP rights to incentivize companies. China, meanwhile, is open to discussions. Meanwhile, more than 170 former heads of state and Nobel Prize winners requested U.S. President Joe Biden to support the waiver. Over 700 health professionals and academics encouraged Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison to do the same. At least 400 members of the European Parliament and EU National Parliament signed a joint appeal to support the proposal. These numbers indicate that the fight to waive IP rights is a huge deal. There is no time limit on how long this discussion should last. But each passing day, more people are getting sick or dying from COVID-related causes due to the lack of access to necessary treatment or vaccines. What may boost the decision-making time is likely the effect on the COVAX facility. India is the biggest vaccine producer with Serum Institute, and 90 million doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine have been put on hold because of the outbreak. If this continues, many nations will lose their likely single access to COVID-19 vaccines.